Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a full face of TJ Maxx makeup. Um, I'm excited. I gathered a bunch of stuff that I've gotten from TJ Maxx, whether it be recent or from a long time ago, and I'm gonna do a full face of makeup with it. So if you're excited to see how this makeup look turns out, then go ahead and keep watching. So I wanted to do like this fun challenge with you guys where I basically did like a full face of makeup that I've bought, but I didn't really know how to do it. Like obviously like I own a ton of makeup and I was like, well, what's a full face challenge that I can do that I haven't really seen? Now, I don't know if someone else has done this. So if they have, then obviously credits to them but I haven't really seen this one. So what I'm going to try to do today is create a full face of makeup using all TJ Maxx makeup, whether it be, like I said, stuff that I just got or stuff that I've gotten a while ago. It just depends. I did the best to make sure I had everything from TJ Maxx. Like I even had to run out and get these lashes because I did not have any lashes from TJ Maxx. So I'm excited to do this. Again, I'm probably not the creator of this, so I'm not trying to say that I am. I'm just saying I thought it would be something different and something fun to do. Plus there's a lot of TJ Maxx makeup that I have that really either doesn't get used anymore or honestly hasn't even been opened. So we're gonna get into it. Okay, so the first thing that I usually do is brows. Um, I don't really use brow pencils, but that's what I have today. This is a Brow Contour Pro by Benefit. It's a four-in-one contour pencil. Light brow shade, deeper brow shade, edge definer, arch highlighter. And this is eight dollars. So we're gonna we're gonna be doing a brow pencil today. So honestly, I'm hoping that I can get this to turn out the way that I want. I need to move my mirror over but I've never really liked using pencils per se. Um, and so this is gonna be interesting. So it's like those multi-click pens, which I think is really cool. That's why I kind of got it. I wanted to try it out. Um, and then I realized like, I don't use pencils for my brows. Why did I buy you? So we're gonna go in and I'm gonna try to, oh, wow, it's actually, not terrible. It's fairly creamy, actually. Every brow pencil I've ever used has been pretty stiff and you have to like, mm, 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 to get any of that color. So that's actually not bad. I'll just be doing like more of a natural brow today. All right, cool beans, cool beans. So I'm just filling in the shape that I drew. Ooh, okay. All right, so I'm gonna go in with the lighter shade. I really wanna know how they do this. Like in here, it's just so cool to me. I don't know why. That's the whole reason I got this thing. It's just so cool. All right, guys. So I finished that brow off camera. Um, I really, I liked it at first and I felt like it was really nice the way it went on. But a couple of problems that I had were that you can't really thin out to do the strokes in the front. So my brows are extremely blocky right now and I hate that. And then also it's hard to like really define it because it's so, it is so creamy. And I didn't realize that sometimes having that harder pencil is better because it makes it so it's more sharp. It just kind of, I don't know. I don't like my brows. I don't think that I like this pencil very much either. And this is like, this is not my color at all. So I'm actually gonna go in to cut the brows with the concealer that I got from TJ Maxx, which is the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Full Coverage Concealer in Light Neutral. And this is what it looks like. I have not used this yet. This is actually a newer one I just recently got. But I'm sitting here like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? Like, this is so light. And then I forgot I got concealer, like, duh. Yeah, but the brow product, it just, there was, I don't know. At first I really loved it because it was like really creamy and just, really went on smoothly but the problem is it's so creamy that what would happen was it was rounding so easily and it wasn't giving me a sharp look like it just and then it was blocky I couldn't really get the fronts to be like stiff strokes so I just don't like the way my brows are right now 
So I put that concealer down. I'm just gonna go in with the eyeshadow palette I'll be using, which is the Too Faced Sparkling Pineapple Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm just gonna go in with that matte beige right here and just set it, cause the only thing I have to set my shadow or my concealer with today. Since I'm already in here, I guess we'll go in with this. So I got this a long, long time ago. It smells like sunscreen. Is it supposed to smell like sunscreen? I thought it was supposed to smell like pineapple, but definitely smell the sunscreen so I'm going in with this brown right here and I'm just going to probably do like an easy smoky eye yeah it's not bad not bad it does however like I said smell like sunscreen all right so now that I have placed that color so what I did because that is the lightest brown or transition color I just feathered it up much higher than I would place that color. So it's like all the way up here now. But what I did was I focused the main color to the crease and just feathered it up. I'm gonna go in to the crease crease, like the legitimate crease. And I'm gonna put this dark shade right here, which is coconut sugar. Yes, so this color right here, which is coconut sugar. And I forget how much I paid for this. I don't think it was very much. So I think like $9.99 or something along those lines. Um, but it was such a while ago, but I've never really used it, I don't think. I know that I got it, and I think I put it in a haul video, but I don't remember ever using this palette. However, it, like I said, it does really smell like sunscreen. Alright, so I'm doing the outer corner and legitimate crease, so not, not above, not slightly above, up in the crease and the outer corner. Like banana boat, that's what it smells like. I just don't, I do not like the smell of this palette at all. All right, so now that I've done that, basically what I did that for was to deepen the crease and the outer corner, just to give me a little bit more depth. So I'm gonna go in a, like right below the brow bone and put this 2D fruity color, which is right here, 2D, wait, what's it called? 2D cutie, I don't know, it's just this light, I don't know if you could see it, but it's this light shimmer color. And just go right in to the brow bone area. Kids have been crazy today. Crazy, I tell you, crazy. I was like, all right guys, I have to film because I have to get this video up because I've been off schedule. Usually I do content creations on Sundays, but now I've switched it to Saturdays. And now I'm just like, we were a lot of really busy because the holidays and getting like everything back to normal for school and stuff. So I wasn't able to film all the videos I needed to. And in doing that, I am now filming like way more this week than I wanted to actually film. Excuse me if I seem tired. I am tired. I am. I am. I hate these brows. Ah. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a flat brush. Yeah, I think I'm going to take a MAC 239S. And I'm gonna go in here to this color, which is Passport and Pineapples, which is this super duo chrome color. So if I shift one way, it almost looks like golden bronze. And then if I shift another way, it kind of looks like purple. I don't know if you can see that. It seems very light today, my brights. My brights, it seems very bright today, my lights. So hopefully, that will come off on camera and you can see it. Have I used this palette before? I think I might have. I feel like I, I definitely feel like I have because this, I remember this color. Oh, she's so good. She looks so green, but then if I shift, she looks like a brown. It's so cool. These colors, like, they blow my mind. Whenever I use a color like this, it just absolutely blows my mind. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna go into is gonna be the sparkling pineapple. And so I'm literally gonna place it in the middle of my eye to that, um, to meet that dark color in the outer corner. Ooh, I like that gold. I did have to place it with my finger though because the brush was not, it was kind of making it crumble. Because this is a much thicker shimmer than like your traditional shimmer. So, but I'm pretty sure, I feel like I've used this palette for a very similar look. I don't remember, but I feel like I did. Deja Vu is kicking in. So I'm going back in with that dark brown and I'm just going to deepen the outer corner back up and the crease. So I just went back in with that lighter brown as well and just added a bit more color 
to the top and to the outer corner as well. All right, so we're gonna move on to the face and obviously I'm getting serious, pulling up my sleeves, my hair is a mess. Okay, so the first things first, we're gonna go with primer. This is the Blur Stick by Milk Makeup and this is $9.99. I just got this one from um, TJ Maxx and I will tell you I'm excited for this one because this was all over TikTok, but I think it was the Makeup Revolution um, knockoff of it because I believe that that was a cheaper one. So that's what I'm using for a primer. That's gross. So that's what I'm using for primer today is the blur stick. But if I'm not mistaken, if you guys know, I think it was this one or the Makeup Revolution one that was like all over TikTok during the summer. Kind of like gently rub it in because I feel like that stick did not do the job. It's just crumbly. Ew. All right, so for foundation, I am, why did I yell that? For foundation, I am going in with the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. Um, this was in my most recent TJ Maxx makeup haul, not the clearance one, the makeup one. And I'll link it above so you guys can check that out. So this one is also a newer product and I'm hoping it's not too light for my skin. But I have actually never used a Clinique. Um, I don't think I've ever used a Clinique makeup product at all. I wanna say just foundation, but I've never, I don't think I've ever used it at all. I think I've only ever used like their makeup remover and like skincare. I do not think this foundation is for girls with dry skin. I mean, it's not terrible. It's pretty close to my skin tone, but it's, it's definitely not my favorite. I'm not gonna lie, it's not my favorite. It's not the worst though. It blended out really nicely. It has decent coverage, but it's definitely buildable. Um, which is really shocking considering it's a foundation and concealer moment, like mix up. So, and this is just that same concealer I used to do my eyes, um, the Urban Decay one. But I won't lie, I hate this applicator. And this is not a very creamy concealer. I do like this. It's not bad. This concealer isn't bad. It's a little bit dry and thick, which is fine, but I prefer a more creamy concealer, but this is gonna be concealer that I feel like if you layered it up, would really, really be a good thick full coverage concealer. I just feel like it's a little too thick for my liking, but it blended out nicely. All right, so for setting powder, I'm going in with the ABH Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Again, this is another one. I got this one and the Milk Makeup one in a recent, not as recent, but a recent um, haul. However, um, I haven't used this one since I got it. It literally, I just took the tape off of it. So I decided to use this one instead of the Milk Makeup one that I got the same day because I use Milk Makeup setting powder like all of the time, all of my life. And I figured I'd give this one a try. I'm trying to use makeup I have. That um, foundation or concealer, one of the two, is like really dry. I'm thinking it is a little bit of both, but mainly the concealer because under my eye is like extremely dry, like before I put the powder on. So I know it's not the powder. I do like this powder though. It really did give me like a nice smoothing effect. I do like that 100%. And it's super white, so I was kind of worried a little bit, but I really, really like that. Like I think it really, really blurred my skin nicely. Bronzer, it's gonna be an ABH bronzer. I swear to God, all their stuff is always in TJ Maxx. This is another recent one. I did not put it in a haul video. I just picked it up when I was doing the clearance shopping. So I have it in the shade Cappuccino and I'm just going to tap in there just lightly and give her a go. Ooh, might be a little bit too dark for my shade. At least during the winter. During the summer, I do get a little bit darker. So I'm able to pull off a little bit darker of a um, bronzer. I'm sitting here like, uh, a, uh, um, what was I saying? Oh boy, I am tired. So I'm gonna put some bronzer on my nose like I usually do. Then go in and conceal again. So, so far, I'm okay with the face makeup. I didn't like the concealer. I do think it's the concealer, not the foundation. 
Um, so that one is one that I do not like. This is the blush I'm using. It is the Patrick Star and MAC Take Me Home blush. I got this in a whole set um, with the lip gloss and the eyeshadow and this is the last of the set that I have. I winded up decluttering and getting rid of the other items. And the lip gloss was decluttered literally just recently um, in the one that I uploaded yesterday. All right, so the next thing I got, which was recent as well, is the Milk Makeup Holographic Highlighting Powder. Um, I actually decluttered one of these a while ago, but it was a purple one. This one is not purple, so I was excited to find this. It is just like a golden pinkish undertone, so hopefully that's going to be nice on my skin tone. All right, so I'm going to go in and try to get a little bit more. There we go. I do a, like a more dramatic highlight and that just was not giving me a dramatic highlight like I wanted. But it's also holographic and kind of like duochrome so one way it looks like silvery gold, silvery gold, one way it looks like golden and then the other way it looks kind of like pink. It's pink! Like I don't know if you can see that. Like it's like one way it gives me like this gray cast. And then the other way, it's just like pink. It's not my vibe. Ah. So the next thing I'm gonna go into is the setting powder. I did this also in my last TJ Maxx beauty haul. This was so cute and I was so excited to have found this. So this is by Pretty Vulgar. And it's so cute. It smells a little funny. But I like the mister. I love the design of it. And honestly, that feels that feels really refreshing actually. So we're gonna get that little second to dry. And now we are gonna go back in with the under eye. I think I'm gonna use, I'm gonna go back in with this one and a shimmer. I'm gonna do both. So I'm going in with that lighter brown underneath first. Going in. So I'm first going in with that lighter brown underneath and bringing it to the inner corner and to the outer corner. Very cute. Love that. All right, so now that I've put that in, I'm going to go into my inner corner and the lower lash line for the, so I'm gonna do the inner corner and meet kind of over here towards that brown with this pink shimmery shade. Pop it in there and bring it over. So the next thing I'm gonna do is go in with the lip and it's going to be the Hey Frenchie by MAC. Um, again, recent product <laughs> was just in my um, TJ Maxx haul, beauty haul, or was it the clearance one? This one I think was in the clearance one. All right, so that is the color of the lipstick. I don't know that I'm the biggest fan of this lip color with this eye, but this is one of the lipsticks I could find that I got from TJ Maxx. I don't get too many um, lipsticks from them. I did a while ago, but I winded up giving a lot of them away. So this was like the only one I had left. So I'm gonna hop off camera and put these on because they take forever and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this challenge. Just doing a full face of makeup with nothing but my TJ Maxx makeup. I'm really glad that I did this because I was able to go back through and use things that I've had for a while and I haven't touched or even try new things that I've had that I haven't touched. So I hope you guys liked it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button for me and make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I do five videos a week and one beauty video every Saturday and as always guys I'll see you on the next one bye